What's going on people, it's your man the YB, back once again. So, we got a leak here of Eddie Hearn Hearn. Massa Hearn reacting to Ryan Garcia's alleged positive PED test. Now, we'll get to the clip obviously, but the contrast is just fascinating. And this is why I don't like promoters like that, yeah? Just be based. Just be consistent. Don't just oh, listen. I understand that you work with Connor Ben, so you kind of suck him off. But come on now, where's the integrity of the individual? Yeah, we can work together. If you do some fugazi shit, it don't mean I'm gonna blow you off though. That that's how I do. That's how I conduct myself. Hey man, we gonna work together. But if you fugazi, I'm have to call it fugazi. We ain't gonna be doing none of this diddy shit. That's what we're not gonna be doing. Yeah, just make hold the line. T hold the line, hundred percent. And if you step off the line, I'm half a call it that. Understand that? Can't be our way. Uh, again, let's get to the video, hundred percent. Once Ryan, and we must give Ryan the opportunity to prove his innocence, as all fighters should get that opportunity. Right now, he's been caught with performance-enhancing drugs in his system. Devin Haney will be looking, of course, to make this fight a no contest. In his mind right now, he's an undefeated fighter. He fought a, a, a fighter that, you know, as we, has been proven, had performance enhancing drugs in his system. Now Golden Boy and Ryan Garcia have to go out and they have to prove why, how, and that's very difficult to do because I've been there before. So at this point, a cheat, unlucky, I, I mean, there's no point dawning on that. He failed his tests. Unfortunately, he had performance enhancing drugs in his system. How they got there, he will have to explain. But obviously from Devin Haney's side, distraught, angry, and of course wants this bout to be a no contest because effectively- How likely is that? Very likely, I would say. So, again, Eddie's tone here, yeah? When Connor Hen popped, he weren't saying, hey, you got bits in your system, you need, to, you need to go away now and prove yourself and we'll come back. Maybe we'll reconvene. And I think that's the base case. Yeah, if you're trying to be square. Like, my side of things is, I wasn't there. I don't know who doing what. I don't trust no governing agency. So I'd, I'd leave it as that. I ain't no man. I ain't, listen, people. Let's say I'm Eddie Hearn, yeah. If I'm in Eddie Hearn's position, I'll tell Conor Ben, listen, man. I don't know if you've been set up. I don't know if you're caning in the gear. Either way, that's for you to sort out. I'm going to put both sides out there. I'm going to say maybe he was set up. I'm going to say maybe he came in the gear. I'm going to say maybe he had a 50 million eggs every day. Just leave it as that. The problem with Eddie Hearn is, when it's Conor Ben, someone he knows, oh, we must have the Eubank fight carry on. We must have it carry on. Must have it. No, no, he innocent. No, no, let's cover it up. Eddie Hearn tried to cover it up and like, let's get the fight on and then we'll work it out later. Doing the most kind of thing. No, no, he I know he is. I know Connor. I was there when he was having 50 eggs a day. But now it's not his fighter. It's you're innocent. You're guilty until you're proven innocent. We need to go away and you're guilty and it needs to be no contest. And Devin Haney is an undefeated fighter. People, stop it. Eddie, stop. Yeah? Undefeated of what? he been on the floor. Seven times. he been grabbing dude ankles. What, how, undefeated how? In what realm? Oh, well, he undefeated in the clean boxing realm. Do you know what I mean? Let's not forget people. Dillian White a few months ago. He had some stuff in his system. It turns out he don't have some stuff in his system. Well, he did have some stuff, but it don't matter. Do you know what I mean? Doing too much, Eddie. Way too much. Way too inconsistent for a 50-year-old man. That's how I feel. Yeah? I would say almost, regardless of the the way that that got in the system, once the fight takes place and you've been proven to have that in your system, when the fight has happened, the fight shouldn't have happened or hasn't happened on, on fair stakes. And he was three and a half pound over. So Devin's probably thinking to himself, fuck me. He came in three and a half pound over. He's got performance enhancing drugs in his system and I got beat. Do me a favor, but 
you have to give Ryan his opportunity. As you know, as I said, I've been on the other side. People, I don't know Ryan Garcia. I have no idea if he's cheated or not. But all due respect, though, Eddie, you have no idea if Conor Hen cheated either. You wasn't there every day. You're a promoter. You kind of dob in the press conferences. You ain't there every day. So, objectively speaking, yeah. Apart from the fact you have a few coffees with Conor Ben once a month, you wouldn't know any more than you would know about Ryan Garcia, if that makes sense. Again, scientifically slash objectively people, who here thinks having a coffee with Conor Ben once a month is any more of an objective process to being confident whether someone's innocent or not? It's obviously not. Literally, you could take Eddie Hearn's relationship with Ryan Garcia and Conor Ben and it would bear no... No, oh, you, it's almost like, oh, well, I know him personally, so what, you know what then? Yeah? People knew Jimmy Savile personally as well, kind of thing. Them ones there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's a, there's a few people. Oh, Jimmy won't like that. <laughs> See that one there? Just because you know him. I know him. You don't know what people do behind closed doors. Yeah? You just don't know. Especially not when they tell you afterwards. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, man. If Conor Ben was my charge, yeah? And they come out with, oh, he was eating 50 eggs. I'll be like, ooh, that's sketchy. Cause I know you wasn't eating 50 eggs a day. Because we went to the coffee shop and you didn't have no eggs. To eat 50 eggs a day, you'd have to have been eating them all day. One of them. Anyway. As I said, in this situation, I've said it before. Guilty until proven innocent. And he's going to have to go through his hearings. I don't know if he's going to have... So now it's now Eddie's on the guilty to proven innocent train. Before it was well, we're gonna fight in America because he's innocent. What happened, Eddie? Wait a minute. If he's guilty to proven innocent, Conor Bennett been proven nothing. So why are you still in? Oh, again, people. I'm not knocking Eddie. I'm not knocking Conor. I don't give a. F that's the truth. I don't. I give up caring. Yeah. I wanted to see Chris Eubank and Conor Ben. Conor Eubank wanted to see that fight. Eubank's doctors cleared it and said there's no. Um. The levels of which are irrelevant. It will make no difference to performance. And that's what, how I feel the borderline should be these days. The line should be, is it going to impact an athletic performance or not? Yeah, if it's not, if, if the opposing team can come in and look at the evidence and say, it ain't going to make no scrap of difference. Who was to harm and the foul? Yeah, finding something somewhere, as we know by contamination or whatever, it don't necessarily mean you've been caning it like that. It doesn't work like that. Not not to mention ingesting things. Like if you look, if you look into steroids, yeah, ingesting things, no one does that. You have to pin it. Do you understand? So if people are eating things, it, the transmission, or the, I think they call it. Efficacious, efficient, I don't know, efficient, I don't know, it's some sort of word, essentially, something being pinned clean into you, the absorption's a lot higher than if you eat it and it's broken down, it travels through, you ain't gonna get nothing, if you're eating some moody contaminated thing and a little piece tri trickles in, it ain't doing nothing, <laughs> you're not getting some mad gains, otherwise we'd all, otherwise yeah, all the, um, otherwise we'd all go to the supermarket and end up wham, Oh, well, we've been having two picograms of this. Do you know what I mean? It's not the case, though. Anyway. Honestly, the resilience to go through this process, because I've seen it break people, but he is going to have to go through a nightmare of a process now to clear his name. So, in terms of kind of what we kind of saw unfold in the early hours of the morning, Ryan Garcia's come on social media about countless. Anyway, that's the wrap of it. Well, that's the gist. The gist is Eddie. I mean, Eddie Hearn's doing what he's supposed to do, which is suck Devin Haney off. But it's not consistent with his other positions. I believe. You go where the evidence goes. Yeah, if you want to be anti-popping, be anti-popping, if that makes sense. It shouldn't matter if they're your friend or not. I don't care. But if you claim to care, 
then be consistent. Don't say, oh, I care about everyone else's fighters. And you best believe... The thing about Eddie is... That's why I don't like... I'm sorry. I, I like Eddie... Well, I don't know Eddie, but... You know what I mean? He's alright. He seems alright from what I see. But there's little things like... When Carrot Top... Yeah? Bivol beat Carrot Top's ass. Fact. Bivol said, I want a rematch at 168. Eddie Hearn, he's sucking off. He's sucking off Carrot Top. Nah, nah. We're not doing it at 168. We're doing it at 175 or not at all. Nah, nah. Yeah, no. Uh, our... Uh, Cart tops to A side, so he makes the shots. Even though he got his ass whooped, even though Bivol he been his daddy. Two twos. Bivol comes back around and starts working with Eddie exclusively. And now Eddie's in the latest press conference saying, "Yeah, you beat Cart Top's ass and you his daddy," kind of thing. It's like, whoa! Don't do that, man. It's whack. Stand on principles. Yeah, and I swear to God, if I was a promoter, yeah, I'd, I'd tell my fighters, "Listen, if you sign with me, there ain't gonna be no bullshit." Yeah, if a dude whoop your ass, yeah, you his son. Yeah? I tell Carrot Top, listen, if we work together, yeah? I ain't gonna start suddenly trying to blow dude. So when Carrot Top got whooped, he'd have known. Don't come looking for me for sympathy. You best fight him at 168. You're the champion there. Yeah? He whoop your ass at 175. And if Bivol has a grown man, a lot of these Carrot Top shields are saying, oh, well, if if we don't want to do it at 168 because people will complain his weight drain. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Your daddy has told you this wasn't a case of Carrot Top pitching it to Bivol. Bivol came out and said, I want you at 168. That's where it starts and ends. Your daddy wants you at 168. With nothing more to talk about. Yeah? You don't need to worry about grown folk business. Yeah? If grown folk can't make the weight, that's on grown folk. Bottom line. And Bivol grown folk to you. Do you understand? Yeah, don't worry about what he do. You worry about not getting your ass whooped again. That's what you need to focus on, Carrot Top. That's what Eddie Hearn should have told Carrot Top. You focus on all the wrong things. What, what is it your business if Bivol's drained at one at 168? He won it there. Your daddy won it there. And your daddy get it Daddy get it wherever he won it. Yeah, he get it on a Monday, on a Wednesday, on a Sunday. It doesn't matter what day it is. It doesn't matter the day. It doesn't matter the way. He get it where he won it. That's what daddies do. Yeah, you best believe it. That's what Eddie Hearn should have told Carrot Top. Instead, he come out shilling for Carrot Top. And Carrot Top... And the Bivol situation has exposed... Carrot Top's broader mentality after taking that whooping. Yeah? He's proven... Well, that was the start of Carrot Top being scared to death of anyone. Even at his own weight. Carrot Top claims to be the king of 168, but didn't want to fight Bivol there. The man who beat him. It's a bit like Katie Taylor, I think. I think... Um, good Katie Taylor. Well, yeah, people, they're happy to lose at a given weight, but don't want to fight at a, at their own weight. Well, I can lose it that way, but Carrot Top didn't want to put his belts on the line. But if you're the king of 168, any challenger should be welcome. Whether that's Benavides, for sure, or Bivol. If Bivol wants to come down, take your belts from you, and relieve you of the belts, that's his right to do that. Especially after, not even especially, Factually, after you whooped your ass, he whooped your ass at his weight, and now he wants some of that sweetness at your own weight that you're the king of. What's there to talk about, Eddie? What are we politicking for? What are we worrying about whether Bivol can make the weight for? He won it there. Give it to him. Yeah? And this is the fight game, people. If Carrot Tops, what, 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 why would you worry about what he doing? Oh, he might be weight drained. Beat his ass then, right? If Bivol comes, if Bivol, yeah, beats you at 175 and then thinks you're sweet at 168, you say, hey, <laughs> that's on him. Let Bivol drain his ass down and he's going to get some 168 whooping. I'm going to send him back up there with his big ass, right? People complain, oh, Bivol was too big. Fine then. He'll come down, beat his ass, beat his dehydrated ass up and send him back up there. Tell him, hey, we ain't playing down here. This is 168. All them big ass games you was playing at 175, we ain't with that down here. We move different down here. Cat Top wasn't on that though. Oh, oh man, oh. Oh, he wait drink, oh. Come with all them kind of bars, weird goofy bars. And Eddie Hearn was sucking the bars off. Not Eddie Hearn, be my best friend, corny, whack. Not consistent, not masculine. Yeah, hold the line. You know what's right and what's not right. He whoop your ass, he get it where he want it. Bottom line. Yeah, stay consistent. If you don't like juicers, don't like juicers. Don't pick and choose which juicers you do like and don't like. It's because you know them a bit. That's whack. I, I mean, are we against juice or not? 
That's the question here, Eddie. Do you not like juicers? Should they be whatevered or not? Ostracised or not? Anyway, let me know your thought. Let off the like button. I just forgot my bars. What was I trying to say? I forgot, I completely forgot my bars. How do I finish videos? Um. Anyway, lack of the but, lack of the like button. Comment, subscribe. I can't even remember. You know, <laughs> um, that's mad. I've never forgot the bars. The the cabal are bugging right now. They got the waves and ting in my head. Um, lack of the like button. Comment, subscribe. I can't. Anyway, I'll catch you, man. Flip, hundred percent.